Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to share three cards using the same stamp set. This is actually part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog to learn all about the giveaways and more details on the hop. Today we celebrate with a blog hop the new release by Alte New, and you can see really quickly some of the stamps and dies that have been released. And this time they also came up with 6x6 paper pads. And you can see here the colors and uh, the combos that you can get. These are all double sided papers, and um, they are 80 pounds cardstock, which is uh, quite thick. You actually get 12 different designs, two papers from each design, 24 in each pack. These are great quality papers and you can see how shiny they are. So I'm not going to show you all the release today. I will come back with more videos throughout the month. So check the release and let me know down below in the comments which of the stamp sets you want me to use. And I will come back with a video. Now today I will use one of the stamp sets that is an absolute favorite from this release just because it is so unique. This is Nature Snippets. It is a layering stamp set that there is an outline around the stamps that are supposed to be used together. And it doesn't look much at the moment. You need to combine those images to end up with a beautiful uh, design. So I'm going to open up the leaflet so you can see how elegant uh, cards you can create with it. So you end up with beautiful circles with birds or butterflies or beautiful flowers inside. I really love this stamp set just because it is so unique. So I'm going to use this to create three cards today. And I'm going to start with stamping. So I'm using my hand here to rub over these uh, stamps. These are clear stamps that I haven't used before. They have enough uh, uh, solid area. So it's always nice to prep them before you go and start stamping. You can either do it with an eraser like I'm showing you here or just use your uh, hand. This is something I do to all my new stamps when they have uh, lots of uh, solid areas, but I usually edit out of the videos, so I thought today I just leave it in so you can see how easy it is to stamp beautifully even when those uh, solid areas are really big. I am going to use my Sea Breeze ink pad and this comes from the Deep Blue Seas uh, oval set and uh, I'm going to stamp all those three images. And for this card I went with uh, three of the circles that end up having only flowers when you combine all the images. There are more that end up having a little bird or butterflies inside. Now I have placed the second layer on top of my images and this time I'm going to stamp with Expresso ink. This way I will end up with the branches and the leaves in brown. Now brown over blue stamps nicely, so there is no problem there with colors blending together. And I will go ahead and stamp the centers of the flowers now. For that I'm going with Versamark ink and then I'm going to apply some anti-gold embossing powder just to add a touch of shine on my card. And you can see for this step I didn't even use my misty tool. I just went ahead and just stamped those little dots all over the flowers. So I'm going to add a little center on each and every flower with a dot. Then I applied my gold embossing powder, heat set everything and my card was ready. I also stamped and uh, embossed some of uh, the sentiments from the same stamp set. And um, I did that with gold embossing powder over brown cardstock. I love the simplicity of uh, this card and how elegant it looks. And I think that it also works for a masculine card as well. I went with uh, three sentiments from the stamp set, one that says thinking of you and two more that say missing you, can't wait to see you. I'm going to stick them down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. The panel is going to go on top of a brown card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is my card all finished. Hopefully you can see all the shine at the center of my flowers as well as on my sentiment. Now, I absolutely love this stamp set, so I couldn't help myself, I just had to create even more cards with more ideas on how you can use those little snippets of nature. So for the next card I'm going with pink, and I'm working with the biggest of the circles included in the stamp set, that ends up having a birdie as well as uh, flowers over a branch. So for the first layer I went with frosty pink, 
that comes from the red cosmos oval set and now I stamp the second layer with Versa marking and then I'm going to apply my gold embossing powder over it. And after heat setting it will end up having a beautiful shine on all the details of the image. Now I'm going to cut out this image and you can use any circle die that you have or you can even go around it with your scissors. You can either go with a smaller one and die cut exactly where that uh, circle is or you can use a bigger one like I'm doing today just to have a white border all around it. So this way I created my own embellishment which is going to be the focal point for my card. Now I created this panel using this beautiful die that cuts out a lovely lace border. I'm going to place on top my element and then I can tell exactly where I need to stamp my sentiment. For that I went with the word thanks that comes from one of the new stamp sets that have just been released which is called Wispy Begonia. It's a lovely stamp set, I will showcase it in another video. So I'm going to stamp with Versa marking and then again apply my gold embossing powder. After heat setting my sentiment you can see how lovely and shiny it looks and I'm going to show you the stamp set I was talking about where this beautiful thanks comes from. It has lovely sentiments along with uh, this one and you can also use this beautiful flower to practice your coloring skills. I added my panel on top of a pink card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and you can see the pink coming through behind the lace and then on top I'm sticking down my embellishment. And I used a foam tape to stick everything together just to add dimension that I absolutely love. And here are some close-up photos to this card. Again a very clean and elegant looking card. And finally let's move on to the last card for today. I used my circles here to cut out uh, little windows on this uh, white panel and now this is slightly smaller than the standard card so I'm going to place it on top of my card so that I know where those windows are going to fall. I'm going to place on top my stamps and once they are nicely aligned there I'm going to close the door of my Misty to grab the stamps Remove this panel with the circles and just do the stamping normally directly on top of my card. Again these are new ones that I haven't used before and I'm just rubbing them with my uh, hand to prep them. The color I'm using here is dew drops. I'm going to stamp those three images and then for the second layer I'm going to use green. I know that green over blue is going to stay green and I'm also uh, using some uh, purple tape just to mask off parts of those second layers because I want to use another color for those parts. So for all the leaves I'm going with green and then for the center of the flowers I will go with oranges as well as for the butterflies I will go with pinks and purples. So here for the second layer I masked off the leaves and stamping the centers and I will do the same thing for the butterflies. And after doing all the stamping I can now lay on top this panel with the circle windows. I have added a foam tape at the back just to add some dimension and once I place it on top it's going to fall directly where it's supposed to since I did all the measurement in the beginning. For my sentiment I went with hello there that comes from the same stamp set and I just white embossed it on a thin strip of yellow cardstock. I'm going to stick that on top of my card using my Nouveau glue at the back, snip off the excess and my card is ready. So let me bring in the rest of the cards, all three of them that I created showcasing the Nature Snippets new stamp set by Altenew. Here are some close-up photos on all the three cards that I made for today. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog, there are lots of giveaways along the hop and tons of inspiration. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for visiting and I'll see you all next time.